Okay guys, what I got for you tonight is a cocktail. This is the very last hex bomb that I have not done. It's that one. And this one is called Serpent. Serpent is supposed to smell like chocolate chips. It does smell like chocolate chips, it reminds me of cookies. Now as you guys all know, I'm not a massive fan of hex bombs, but I do think they're pretty freaking cool. We are also going to be pairing this with the Pleasure Dough. Let me grab his little butt. The Pleasure Dough Bubble Bar that was featured a couple months ago in the Lush Kitchen. It looks like a raw bread dough that you would like heat up for like Thanksgiving time. Right? Doesn't it? it smells earthy and lavendery. I really like this one. But I'm going to do him in a strainer because I don't really want all that crap in the tub. So let's put Serpent in. Now let's see what it does. Now if you guys remember back way in like the summertime, I did a 22 hex bomb giveaway and we had all the colors and all the different scents and things like that and right after that giveaway they started coming out with new stuff. Um, they had a white bomb with the uh, the anise whatever it is spice thing on it. They had a pink hot pink bomb. They got a couple other ones now. But if you want to go ahead and order yourselves some hex bombs, every Friday at noon, Bella Mortar Clothing Company restocks the hex bombs, and you can use the link that I have down below. It says hex bombs, but the name of the store that holds the hex bombs in the UK is the Bella Mortal Clothing Company. He's not really doing much, is he? He is giving us a neon green water. But, see, this is why I'm not so much of a giant fan of the Hex Bomb. It is basic fizzer. It's cool color. But as for, like, moisture and things like that, you don't really get much. I mean, it's pretty much it is what it is, you know? But that's why I'm not a massive fan. I do like them. I think they're pretty cool. I really like, you know, the color and the scent. See, but as you kind of dissipate it a little bit, the color kind of kind of goes away. So once I fill up the water, it's not really going to be all that green. Our last little bit. It's kind of like a slimer green color. Oh, now that it's like halfway done, it's like moving around a little. Could be the color has dissipated a little bit because I've had it for a little while, but... My other ones didn't dissipate, you know, I think this color is just a lighter, a lighter, greener, you know, color. My black ones held up good. My blue ones, that's the one that I really, really love. I love the blue, the elixir, because it's kind of menthol-y, and it's, you know, it's supposed to be used when you're not feeling too cool. There he is, he's still going. Fred is enjoying him. And Fred has now ruined my video again. Thank you, Fred. For those of you who are new, Fred is my shower hair that I am too short to put back up. So he video bombs me constantly. He's a real pain in the ass. We argue all the time. And there he goes. He's he's done. Yeah. <laughs> so we got about three minutes. Actually, about two minutes because we spoke for a little bit of bath bummy stuff and there's nothing moisturizing at all there's no moisture um she has uh, stated apparently people have told me that she stated that the bath bombs are gonna have more moisture in them and that she's working on this that, that, that. well i've ordered three different supposed type of batches they've all felt the same way um you know really they're a great cool bomb but if you're going for that luxury feel, you gotta go for something else, you know? But if you just want a really cool fizzy bomb and some really bright, bright coloring and just like, uh, they have the blackout bombs, they have the blood reds, the Bathory, uh, you know, from Elizabeth Bathory, they got some cool ones. Just not up my alley, you know? Not my, my type of deal. Let's go ahead and let's pop the uh, Pleasure Dough bubble bar. Pleasure Dough. Sorry. <laughs> Into that trusty Strina that is always in the bathroom because that's where he lives. He lives in the bathroom. All right, look, guys, if you have earbuds in your ears, you're going to want to yank them now. When I turn the water on, it is obnoxiously annoying if you have a set of earbuds. All right, ready? This is what he looks like. He is just, he looks like raw 
biscuit, kind of. All right, let's slide up here. Whoa, I almost fell off the edge. Thank God you guys can't see me right now. <laughs> you would have heard it though. Here we go, guys. I'm trying to appease everybody here. I'll let you guys see the uh, bubble bar melting down. Empty the bubbles. Oh, I don't like all that crap there, but I like the bubble bar. Hopefully it catches it all. I hope so. All right, if you ever have a problem where you want to use a bubble bar, but it's got a lot of shit in it like this, or if you want to use a bath bomb like Poo Sticks, Poo Sticks bath bomb from Lush has a lot of crap in it, get a nylon stocking, stick it inside a nylon stocking, and then either hang it underneath your faucet as your faucet is running, or you can very easily just drop the stocking with the bath bomb inside of it in the, in the water. And you won't have all that stuff. That is a lot of stuff. Ew. Let me turn the cold water down and get it melted. Let's just go ahead and get it melted down. Fred? See, I told you, he's a pain in the ass, isn't he? Oh, man. This is some hot water right here. It just hit my hand and it hurt. <laughs> wow, look at all that gunk. That's the one thing I don't like about certain Lush products. Certain Lush products just have way too much stuff. So if you're like me and you just don't like all that stuff, you can nylon it. Or you can put it in a strainer and hold it, you know, I mean, do it like I'm doing here. But if you're, you know, like one of those that just wants to throw everything in, turn the water on and go run and like grab your clothes or go find your bathrobe type deal, you know, if you, you want to do something before you get in while your tub is filling, you can just tie a nylon to like the faucet or the knobby and there you go. Alright, here we go guys. Ew, look at that. Do you want to take a bath in that? I don't want to take a bath in that. Ew. Oh look, some of it's purple. I don't want to take a bath in that whatsoever. I'm, I'm going to take the, what looks like, it looks like, like oatmeal, like burnt oatmeal. <laughs> I'm going to take that and put that in the sink for now. And we're going to jack up the water! Oh, we got some of it in there, but not much. And we're just going to let it do its thing and build ourselves some bubbles. We might help it a little bit, I don't know. Can we help it, guys? Should we do the ultimate bubble trick? Alright, we'll do it a little bit. Mind you, I'm taking Boogs in here. Boogie has uh, bubbled the phase every time I stick him in a bubble bath. Every time, without fail, he's going to eat the bubbles. Never really affects him to like stop him before he actually gets it in his mouth. But he tries really hard. Oh boy. Alright. Now Lush is the first company to create bubble bar. So they have the original nice crumble formula. They have a great crumble to them. They always feel moisturizing, they always feel good. You do not have to use the entire bubble bar. I do it just for demo purposes and because I am a little pig when it comes to bubble bars. Okay, so little bits are in the water here. See it like right around here? You can see it over here, little bits. Nothing that's gonna tick me off or piss me off. Let's go ahead and shut this down. Nothing that's gonna like ruin my bath. Just little bits, that doesn't really bother me too much. See, a little bit right here. So let's dig down here of our nice little bubble bath. And let's take a look, look at our, what looks like dirty water. It's not dirty, I promise you, but <laughs> because of those things that are floating in it, it doesn't look so appetizing, you know? Like it doesn't look like something you want to get in because it looks like some debris came up from your faucet or something. See? There's my debris. <laughs> it's all safe stuff though. It's seaweed and things like that and lavender pods. It's nothing that's going to hurt you. Okay, now that I have that bubble bar in, this moisture is bumped up to about a 10. Um, Pleasure Dough is one of the most, one of the most moisturizing bubble bars that Lush has to offer. It has a very lavender slash herbal scent to it. It's not really lingering on my skin at all, so if it's something you're not into, you just want an extremely moisturizing bubble bar that doesn't leave you itchy or anything like that, Pleasure Dough would be right up your alley. 
Pleasure dough is available in the kitchen from time to time. It's not something you can buy all the time. I do know Lush had or has a mess load of products available right now from Lush Oxford Street on the UK site if you want to jump on that bad boy. Dust. Um, <laughs> bath bomb dust. If you want to jump on that one, go for it. But let me also tell you that majority of those items that are available on the Lush UK site are going to be available in Northern Lush from now on. You know, well, whenever they stock them on. They're going to be introducing them into Lush Northern, Northern Lush, which is our Lush here in the U.S. And Canada and like, you know, areas like that. So don't fret if you're broke right now, kind of like I am. Um, <laughs> you can go ahead and you can always get yourself the items when they go into Lush Northern Lush. Uh, I also believe that Twilight is still available. Twilight Shower Gel. I did not jump on it because I still have some left. And if that is, and Ponche Shower Gel is available. I don't know if those two are going to be going into Northern Lush. I do know some of the bath bombs and bath melts, things like that will be available. But I do not know if those two shower gels will be available. So if you want to grab Ponche, which uh, smells like fruit punch pretty much. It's good. I like, Ponche is one of my favorite. If you want to grab, it's kind of like reminds me of like, uh, uh, I think it is supposed to be after a Mexican punch that they have, like, that uh, Mexican families make around Christmas time. I think. I think it's from Mexican culture. I'm not sure. Don't friggin' quote me. I'm probably wrong. Uh, but it smells like fruit punch to me. I really, really, really like Ponche. I really love Twilight. Oh, my God, I would kill right now to grab a couple bottles. But Christmas is rolling around, guys, and it's tight. So you gotta, you gotta pull in your friggin', pull in your strings there. Real, real tight right now. And I got a whole bunch of other things going on. We also still are doing the fundraising for Jamie. So if you can donate, it will be in the drop box down below. There'll be an address where you can send any kind of toiletries, goodies, clothing, anything like that. Um, if you want to know sizes and stuff like that, um, I'll, you know, so I'm, I'll put in all the sizes and everything in there too. That makes it easier on everybody. Different sizes, different shoe sizes, um, whatever I can basically muster up there, uh, I don't want to fill you all with everything, like what the kids like and everything like that. I mean, you you know whatever you can do. They're extremely grateful. There's also her PayPal account, which is linked back to her business account that you can donate in. And there is a GoFundMe account you can donate there as well. Uh, I'm mainly pushing the GoFundMe account simply because I don't want her to have to pay taxes on donations that go back into a PayPal account for her business. Which, unfortunately, she has lost right now. But we will all help her rebuild everything. So, and for all of you that have donated and have helped, I thank you very, very much. Also, we do have, so far that I know of, three companies that are kicking in to help out with either town or with Jamie itself. I would really, really love it if you guys could jump on Whiskey Mermaid, get yourself some Diggy Phoenix Bath Powder, which is Fruit Loop scented, and it is beautiful and gorgeous. The jars are, not that, I believe they're either $6 or $8.00. But those funds are going directly to Jamie. Once again, that's Whiskey Mermaid. You can find the link down below. We also have Bathinity, who is donating the Great Christmas Tree Bubble Bar. All the proceeds to that bubble bar are going back to the town of Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And then we have... And you can, you can find those two people linked down below. We also have Rebel Potion. Rebel Potion, if you are listening to this video right now, can you please drop a link... Screw it, I'll put Rebel Potions link in. Okay, Rebel Potions link will be linked down below, her Etsy shop. She is donating a uh, bath bomb, I believe it is the Beautiful Disaster bath bomb. Uh, and the proceeds are going all to Jamie. So, I mean, those could help. Dropping a buck, in, you know, in the donation could help. Or sending them supplies and things like that. Um, Christmas presents, Christmas little stockings, anything you can think of. They do not have, they can use. Toothbrushes, toothpaste, shampoos, conditioners, anything. Deodorants. Um, there is uh, Jamie, her husband, her stepson, and her daughter. So I will do, I will put everything down below, sizes, the whole nine. I'll even include the kids' ages, so that way you can kind of buy age appropriate. Because, you know, I mean, you might see a size and then think, well, you know, this is an adult. No, it's it's a young boy. And then you might see another size and think, oh, this is a, you know, this is a five-year-old little girl. No, it's not a five-year-old little girl, you know? <laughs> but, like, you know, um, like, you don't want to do, you know, you don't want to buy something that's not age appropriate. And send it down. You know, they're, they're kids, you know. 
Okay, I'm going to stop rambling on here now. You guys know the deal. You know that I am very much campaigning to help Jamie out, and there's a lot of women behind me. There is a lot of YouTubers. There's a lot of vendors. Um, a lot of big businesses now that I'm contacting to try and get them involved. And I have a lot of ladies that are helping me right now. So, if you would like to chime in and jump on the Help Jamie, the owner of Bomb Diggy Bandwagon, all that information is in the Dropbox for you. I'll make sure everything is set up, everything is linked up, and it will be in every video. Every video will have information on how to help Jamie. Until she is helped to the fullest. Until she has enough that she is now giving it back to the town. Because that is something that she decided she would like to do. Whatever exceeds her needs and family needs, she is giving it all back to the townspeople. Um, I know a lot of people are getting some help from the Dolly Parton Fund. But if you think about it, a thousand dollars a month for six months on a four-person family is not a lot of money when you do not even have a home to come home to and take care of. A lot of those people are stuck in hotels, uh, motels. They can't cook in the place, you know. Jamie is lucky. Jamie is at her dad's house right now. And uh, they're they're getting by, you know. They're, they're getting by there, but it's completely devastated and it is devastating what happened to her. And we are all here to help her and take care of her. She is She is one of us. You know, it could have happened to any one of us, and she would do the same exact thing that we're all doing. So I love you all. Uh, also, <laughs> if you have yet to subscribe and you would like to, please hit the subscription button down there. And uh, I was, <clears throat> uh, I informed you guys about a month ago about a problem with YouTube. YouTube is unsubscribing people every once in a while. It's like a glitch that they're doing right now. Uh, and I've just reinformed about it again today that it has become more public. It wasn't just something that uh, Bunny said on Graveyard Girl. So it's become more public now. So if you believe you are subscribed to the channel, double check it because you cannot enter any giveaways unless you are subscribed to the channel. And I have some cool shit to give you guys this month. And I'll be doing the giveaway sometime this week. Everything has just been pretty hectic because of what happened with Jamie. And I think you guys can wait, you know? I mean, right now... Getting free shit or helping somebody out, which which way would would you know the the non Grinch go? You know, <laughs> so hang on a little bit, guys. I got you. Just hang on a little bit. Uh, sometime this week, I will post all the items that will be give the, given away, and then I'll let you know how we're gonna maneuver that. I still got some bubbles. Look, we've been talking for a while. Look at this. There's a nice amount of little bubbles there. Look how hot they are. See that? See how hot they are? Pleasure dough bubble bar. I like pleasure dough bubble bar. All right, I am going. To, there's Mama Frog. Mama Frog lives on the bayou with her baby. Sorry. <laughs> I like Mama Frog. Mama Frog gets her eyeballs eaten every time Boogie gets in the bathtub. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Love you all. Hope you guys all have a great evening. And throughout the week, I will figure out what day I can sit down and film the gift sets and things like that that I had snagged from lunch. So that way you guys can enjoy them. Love you guys. Bye.